Hey, what up guys? It's me again bringing you another video. So the new set box is upon us. Um, let me go over the new mini box really quickly. So Dom Destiny is here. Let's see if this mini box is worth buying or not. We also got 500 gems to celebrate the mini box. So that's pretty good. Let's go over some of the cards. Pretty interesting, yeah. Let's go to shop. So the previous um, mini box was pretty lackluster, right? The land of the Titans. That was pretty lackluster. Hopefully this mini box is much better. Let, let's go over the cards and see which cards you should go for. And see if this deck is worth investing in. So let's check the Ultra Bears. Sacred Phoenix of Nephrit. During your next standby phase, after the discard was destroyed by card effect and sent to the graveyard, special summon this card from the graveyard. When you do, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Interesting. This is a fire type monster. Wing Beast, 2400 attack, 1600 defense. The stats is pretty meh. I don't know how useful this card is, sir. So, I'm gonna hold off on my judgment on this card. This is the card I'm looking for, yeah. This is the the card you should definitely aim for in this mini box set tribute to the doom this card one card then target one monster on the field destroy it so this card is really good in um, necrofield deck or any theme deck it's a definitely good card this is basically um order charge right so instead of um destroying your monster you have to discard a card right and you get to destroy one monster on the field so this is definitely situational depending on which do you want to use order charge or this card? So this is definitely a good card in a fiend deck. So this is the best card in this box in my opinion. Mirage Knight SR cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summoned by Dark Flare Knight. Cannot be special summoned by other ways during the damage step calculation only. This card gains attack equal to its origin attack of the monsters. Monster in this battle during the end phase of the turn. This card attack was attack banish this card. Hmm, 2800 attack, so it cannot be normal or set, must be special summoned by Dark Flare Knight. So this is a pretty bad card, yeah. I'm not sure how useful this card is, though. Ill Blood, this is the Bakura card, right? This card is treated as a normal monster while it face up in the field in the graveyard. Why this card is face up in the field? You can normal summon to give it become a fact monster with this fact so this is a Gemini monster. Once per turn you can special summon one zombie type monster from your hand or from the other player graveyard. And this card leaves the field. This show is zombie type monster special summoned by this card effect. Definitely get caught in a zombie deck, so you should definitely consider running this monster. Definitely get caught in my opinion. If you're running a zombie deck, right? Heavy Knight of the Flame. Another Gemini monster. This is also the Yami Bokura card. This card is treated as normal monster when face up on the field on in the graveyard. Why this card is normal summon on the field? You can normal summon it to become an effect monster with this effect. At the start of the damage step, if this card attack a special summon monster, you can banish that monster. At the start of the damage step, if this card attack a special monster, you can just pretty good. Effect here. Yeah. 1800 attack, fire monster here. Yeah. It's pretty good. So basically, um, if this card attack a special summon monster, you get to destroy that monster, right? Basically. So this is definitely a good card here. Yeah. Skull Conductor. If this card is face up on the field at the end of the battle phase, destroy this face up card. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon up to two zombie type monsters from your hand whose combined attack is exactly 2000. 2000 attack level 4, it's pretty good. This is also a Yami Bukura card. There's a lot of Yami Bukura cards in this deck. Right? This, this, and this, yeah. And this as well. A lot of Yami Bukura cards. So, what is this card? Destroy this face up card. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon up to 2 zombie timers from your hand. Who's the combined deck? Hmm. Definitely a good card in a zombie deck, in my opinion. 
you get to special summon two zombie type monster from your hand whose combined attack is exactly 2000 so that's pretty interesting definitely get caught in the zombie deck magical exemplar spell cast a 1700 attack pretty nice each time a spell card is activated, place two spell content on this card. When that spell card is resolved, once per turn you can remove any number of spell content from this card. Special summon one spell cast a type monster from your hand or graveyard whose total level is equal to the number of spell cards you remove. You could definitely see this card being useful in a spell content deck. Definitely a good card if you wanna use spell content deck, right? The dark hack seal fusion. This is Basically the other one, the earth one, basically. You can substitute this card for any one fusion material monster, but the other fusion monster must be correct. You can tribute fusion material monster on the field, including this face up card, special summon one quest one dark fusion monster from your extra deck. So it's basically the same thing, it's, except instead of um special summon earth monster, you get to special summon dark monster, right? The one you get from the card trader is basically the same thing, yeah. So I, I'm not sure how useful this card is. Might be useful in a fusion deck. Okay, this is the card. This is also one of the cards you should go for in this deck, in this uh, mini set box. Super Rush Headlong. Target one face up monster in control and declare one attribute. If that target batter and open monster with that attribute this turn, destroy them open monster at the start of the damage step. Definitely good card. Basically, um, if you attack your opponent monster, right? You get to declare a tri attribute, so you get to destroy it, right? So that means you get to attack his life one, right? Basically, it's definitely a good card, yo. Yeah, this is definitely a good card, yo. Target one person monster in control, declare one attribute, that target battle, open monster with attribute this to destroy the open map. So yeah, basically, you get to destroy their monster as well as take inflict damage right so this is definitely a good card yeah plus it's a quick spell too yeah so you can activate it on your opening turn i believe so this is definitely a good card yeah so so far this and this other card cards you should go for in this mini step box okay let's check the other cards Mortal destruction increase the attack of all fire monsters by 500 points and decrease their defense by 400 points this is a spell card this is a uh, Field card, I believe. Yeah, Molten Destruction. This is an SR card. Yeah, I'm not sure how good this card is because um, it takes up a spot in your deck, right? Plus, this is basically an equip card, basically, but it lets you boost all your five monsters, right? Not just one monster. So I don't know how good this card is, but we'll see. Red Dragon Ninja. When this card is normal summon, you can banish one ninja or ninjutsu art card from your graveyard to target one set card your opponent control. Reveal that set card and then return it to the top of the bottom of the deck. Your opponent cannot activate the target card in the response to this effect activation. You can only use the effect of Red Dragon Ninja once per turn. 2400 Fire Type Monster. So, what kind of ninja monster do we have? I don't think we. We, we have that many ninja card, right? I'm pretty sure we have that two ninja card, Crimson Ninja, and the other ninja that when you flip, you get to destroy a spell trap card, I believe. That's the only ninja card we have in this in this game. Call from your grave, attack on set your pumpkin, and get a sign and turn. So I'm not sure how useful this card is, so. Hazy Flame Hippogriff. Your opponent cannot knock target this card with card effects. Once per turn, you can tribute one other five monster. This card gains 300 attack. So this is basically the same thing as that other card. The Eagle Eye from that PvP Dual Rewards. Once per turn, you can turn it. Interesting. I don't, I'm not sure how Good. This card is there. But did I skip this? Oh yeah, I actually skipped this. Fire King Avatar, your cuts. Uh, Beast Warrior, yo. Level 4. 1800 attack. Pretty nice. Fire type. 
If a face of Fire King monster control is destroyed by card effect, except during the step. So Fire King, including this card, right? You can special this card from your hand. If this card is destroyed, instead of the graveyard, you can destroy one card in your hand or that you, or that you control. You can only use this effect if I can touch it once per turn. Ooh, this is pretty good, though. So if this card gets destroyed by card effect, Except during the demo step, you can special summon this card from your hand, right? It's just like we're gonna show one card in your hand. Pretty interesting, huh? Brush Fire Knight. This is similar to that card in the uh, Lands, Lands of the Titan. When the Fire Monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, send one Fire Monster from the deck to the graveyard. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, send one Fire from the deck to the graveyard. It's useful, but turn only once that turn when a fire monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard so if this card is sent to the graveyard basically you get to send one fire monster from your deck to the graveyard when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard send one so you basically get to send two fire monsters right basically from your deck to the graveyard to then on your deck that'd be a good card yeah if you're running a fire deck right this deck seems to be fine theme deck, yo. A lot of fire monsters in this deck. In this mini stack box. Naturia Meron. Plant type. When this card is normal summoned, you can send one Naturia monster from the deck to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can target two Naturia monsters in the graveyard. So for do both those targets in the deck. And draw one deck. Interesting, yo. I've seen the preview for this card. I believe. Um, in the video, they use three Naturia cards. Pretty sick combo, yeah. I could definitely see this card being viable in a Naturia deck. There's one bar. Any damage here from a card effect becomes zero. Basically, counter to um, T Burn deck, basically. Hand of Nefritus. You can tribute this card and one other monster. Special summon one Sacred Phoenix. From your hand or deck. Interesting, this is basically a support card for your Sacred Phoenix. So, yeah, this will help you get that Sacred Phoenix out from your hand or your deck, right? Yes, so yeah, this is a really good card. If you're running this card, you should also be running this card too, right? So, oh, this is Fusion Monster, yeah. Dark Player Knight, Dark Magician plus Flame Swordsman. You take no ban damage from battle environment this card when this card is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard. Special summon one Mirage Knight from your hand. Oh, that. Ooh, that thing. Interesting effect, yeah. yeah. It's pretty weak stats, so 2200. That's pretty bad, yeah. Fire King Arden. If this face up card in the field zone is sent to the graveyard or banish, destroy all monsters in control. You can only use one of the following effects of Fire King Arden in the pattern. And only once that turn. During your main phase, you can destroy one monster in your hand or your control. Do you add one king fire from the deck, fire king monster from the deck to your hand. If you control no monster, you can special summon one fire wind beast type monster from your hand. Interesting, yeah. Puzzle reborn. If exactly one monster you control, no other cards destroyed by card effect. Target that monster, special summon the target. Interesting. So you basically get to destroy it. You get to um, special summon a monster that will destroy it. Right? So yeah, you get to bring back that monster that, that was destroyed, basically. Seeing Ceremony of Katon. Once per turn, you can banish one fire monster from your graveyard. To target one card in your opponent graveyard, banish that target. Interesting. If you're running a fire deck, you should probably run this card. A lot of fire theme deck here. Yeah. Anti Magic Prism. When your opponent activates a quick play spell card, select one card in the field and destroy it. Ooh. Interesting. When your opponent activates a quick play spell card, select one card in the field and destroy it. So basically, if your opponent uses any quick play spell card, you get to destroy any card on the field, right? So, this is pretty good, yeah. This will counter pretty much enemy controller or the charge 
and any other spell card. Yeah, definitely good card, yeah. So you basically, if your opponent uses Odia Charge, you could destroy their monster, right? So that way, they won't be able to activate Odia Charge, right? So you're basically destroying two cards at once, right? Definitely good card, yeah. Pretty nice tech card, in my opinion. Plus, it's an odd card, so it's, it's not hard to get. Oh, they actually added this card there? Interesting, yeah. This is the card that the level 57 standard dude uses. So, this is a pretty good card in the beast deck, right? Once per turn, you can remove and play one face up beast type or beast warrior type monster from your control. Just like one of the face up beast type monster or beast warrior type monster in your control. Just like the monster gain the origin attack of the monster removed from play for this effect. Definitely good card, yeah. I've seen the standard do this to use this card, right? So you guys are aware of this card. Get Goblin Housekeeping. Draw a card equal to the number of Get Goblin Housekeeping in your graveyard. Plus one. Then select one card from your hand and return to the bottom of your deck. Ooh, definitely a good card, yeah. So if you have like multiple copy of Get, Co Get Goblin House copy, Housekeeping, you get to draw cards, right? Definitely good card, yeah. The Cherry Stack Beetle. Once per turn, during the battle step or damage step of this card attack, when you're putting activate card attack, you can select one of the Cherry Monster in the graveyard. Especially some of the monsters from here. Nah. Another Naturia support card. Vampire Dragon. When this tribute summon card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one level 4 or lower monster from the deck to your hand. This is a level 5 monster, yeah, so you have to tribute, right? I'm not sure how, how good this card is, Evan. So, yeah, this is pretty bad, yeah. Another Naturia support card Naturia Hydrogen Gin. If the fact that the Naturia monster in control was activated in your third turn, you can special summon this card from your hand. Ooh. This is really good there. So we have another Naturia support card. Naturia Pumpkin. Yeah, I love the animation. I mean, not the animation, the artwork. When this card is normal summon, if you open a control monster, you can special summon one Naturia monster from your hand. Interesting. Bone Crusher, Zombie, the 4 monster, 1600 attack. When this card is special summon from your graveyard by the fact with Zombie type monster, you can target one spell or trap card, you open control, destroy that target. During the end phase of the turn, this card will special summon, destroy it. It's a pretty weak attack, yeah. I'm not sure how useful this card is, but the fact is pretty nice. You can target one spell card, you can control, and destroy that target, right? Interesting. Empire Lady. When this card inflict bad damage to your opponent, declare one card type. Monster, spell, trap, your opponent send one card of that type from the deck. So this is, a uh, Basically, Vampire Lord, right? But horrible stats. Yeah. I'm not sure. How, I'm not sure how good this card is. So yeah, this card is meh. Fire King Avatar. Yeah. Another Fire King. How many Fire King do we have in this deck? One, two, and three. This is the third one. Like I've, I've heard, um, Fire King. It's like really popular card uh, in uh, TCJ, TCG. Face up card, fire game monster you control is destroyed by card effect. Except then the damage you can special summon this card from your hand. This card destroy. So the you can send one fire from, from the deck to the graveyard. Interesting. Invasion of flames. When this card normal summon successfully, no trap card can be activated. Ooh. This is the card I was talking about. This is the Eagle Eye. The card you get from the PvP rewards. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. This is the flame. This is the fire version. So I was talking about the other card earlier. Where was it? Where was it? No, it wasn't this. Was it this? Where before I was talking about this? It wasn't Eagle Eye. It was a uh, other card. I forgot. It was a uh, Hazy Flame, right? The card trader. That we got it was pretty much the same, right? It's this. It's a similar name as well. 
Okay, so yeah, this is basically that Eagle Eye card. This is definitely a good card. Yeah, I could definitely see this card being used in, um, alongside Invader of Darkness, so. So, pretty much lock down your opponent monster, yeah. Definitely a good card, yeah. Vampire Baby, at the end of the battle phase, this card destroys a monster by battle. Send the graveyard, this turn you can special summon that monster to your side of your map. Another Nature Support card, Nature Eggplant. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can select one Nature monster in the graveyard, except Nature Eggplant, and add it to your hand. More Nature Monster, Nature Sunflower. You can tribute this card and one Nature monster to negate the activation of the effect, effect monster your point control and destroy it. Meh. Carve the soul. This is really interesting. You know, look at your deck, and if you do, you can add one monster from your deck to your hand, whose summon attack and defense equals your life point. You can only, only activate one card of the soul per turn. This is definitely a good card, yeah. It's basically a search card, right? You get to search out a uh, monster in your deck. Basically, I'm not sure what monster you can search out with this card, but Flash of Silent is one of the cards that come into my mind. And maybe Dark Freed. So yeah, Dark Freed and anything that equal 4,000, right? 4,000 life points. Because yeah, attack and defense have to equal your life points, so it has to be 4,000, right? Because 2,000, 2,000, or 2,300 and 1,700. So those cards that I mentioned, what well, works really well with this card. Flash Assailant and Dark Freed, right? Fake Bark and Bark. Active only if you control face of mature monster. You can play an active trap card this time. Ooh, pretty good card there. Another mature support card. Mandos, Luminous Moss. Active it only if you control face of mature monster. The point of effect monster can activate the effect this time. Interesting. Ninjutsu. So this is the card I was talking about earlier. Where was it? Yeah. You want to use this alongside this card, right? Red Dragon Ninja. Tribute one ninja monster to target one monster. Your opponent control advantage of target while this card is banished. Its monster card zone cannot be used when this face up card leaves the field. Return the card banished by this fact the same monster card zone. In the same bad position. Interesting. I could definitely see this card being used in a farming deck here. The only ninja card we have is what? The only two ninja cards, I believe. The flip cards that let you destroy spell trap cards. Definitely interesting card here. Exterior Fang. Activate only if you control a face up Naturia monster. And have at least one card in your hand. Negate activation of opponent's spell and trap card and destroy it. The sound one card from your hand to grab. Interesting. I love Nature Support cards, so. This is pretty lackluster box set, in my opinion. The only good cards in this deck is probably Tribute to the Doom, Super Rush Headlong, and maybe. What was the other one? Well, which was it? Yeah. And this one, yeah. Anti Magic Prism. So, those are the, some of the notable cards that I think are really good in this mini set box. The rest is pretty mad, yeah. It depends on what deck you're building, right? So, if you're building zombie deck, you, sh you should probably get this, maybe this as well, and this, if you're running zombie deck. If you're running a uh, spell conjure deck, this is pretty good. So, yeah. If you're running fire deck, there's tons of fire support there. So yeah, this deck is pretty lackluster, yeah. It's not like not good. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna spend that much gems on this. It depends. So if this deck helped me with farming, then I'll definitely sp spend my money spend my gems on this box set, but I'm not sure yet, yeah. Since I'm a free to player, it's gonna be hard for me to spend gems right so I gotta like spend my gem wisely so and the card in this is, in this set box is not even that good right 
The only notable card in this deck is Tribute to the Doom, Super Rush Headlong, and Anti Magic Prism. Those are the only three cards that caught my attention. The rest is pretty mad. So let me open one box and one pack. See what we can get here. Interesting, I like the artwork. Bone Crusher, Nijetsu. Meh. So I'm, I'm not even gonna sp spam any gem in this box there. Yeah. This set box is not even that good yeah. The only, so yeah, I'm not even gonna spam that many gem in this box there. Yeah. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Hopefully um, this will help you guys decide whether to spend your gems in this set box, whether it's worth it or not. So yeah, it's up to you if you guys want to invest in this box or not. So yeah, if you guys um, enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I try to bring more videos like this in the future. If you guys want to see similar videos like this, subscribe to my channel. So yeah, thank you for watching. So yeah, until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.